that gas smell. Brain cells depleting so fast when I exhale. I'm still mad. <laughs> Welcome to the Bout It Podcast, guys. I'm so excited. I have my very first guest. Uh, I told you guys I wanted to have some people on here and start interviewing about people that are about it. I did not expect this one to be my first one. Um, if any of you guys watched my uh, YouTube video, I interviewed a guy named Tommy Franks Jr. Um, at the Exotic Animal Show who kind of had gotten an altercation um, at a booth with some communication but that's neither here nor there but without further ado we're here at the uh the curly toe in uh, north portland uh we're here with tommy franks jr jr tommy franks jr tommy Fra- again i'm sorry i keep doing that yep, it's all one word it's a I think of it all one I, word. Know. I knew better. I knew better. Yeah, I know. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me on this uh new year 2022 uh what did you get into last night uh last night for new year's uh, just a local place down the road and, you know, just hung out there and watched some, watched some girls dance and, you know, just threw some money out there and, <laughs> you know, waited for the new year to bring some, some new feet, you know? Great, great. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like you had a good time. Um, you're pretty open about this foot fetish yeah, thing. Yeah, 100%, man. It is what it is. You know, I, you know, you gotta be who you are. So do you feel kind of like... Is there, is there any shame like the, this is a, like a weird thing so, that society looks at you at? Like, what do you mean? Well, I mean, what do you mean? What I mean? I mean, that's What's like weird. It's a foot, it's, a, it's you like feet. What's you, weird about that? What do you that you're sec you're sexually attracted to the feet? Like oh, you are. I I never really thought of it that way. It's not a See, there you or, go. Or, that's the thing. Your mind. You're not open. Your mind's not open. Fair you're not woke fair. is what these kids would call it these days, right? I hear that in Portland. Fair politics. enough, man. Whoa, wow. Dude. Great. Well, Gotta get woke. well, shit, dude. Well, this is good. This is all great content. Uh, you're, well, can you explain how you got into this? Like, what what, what was going on? Like, what, when's, what happened when you're like, God, that feet. You know, there, so- you know, there was a time, you know, uh, I used to be married. Uh, one day, she just... She just took off. Uh, I guess I, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money. I, you know, I was working where I'm working now. And where do you work now? Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh, really? What do you yeah. do there? Uh, in the shoe department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, I'm sorry for laughing. No, it'll. No, it's fine. You probably like it, don't you? <clears throat> it's the best job I ever had. <laughs> I bet it does. Do you? So, so I mean, do you? I mean, let's, hold on. Let's talk about this. Okay. You work in the the shoe department at Dick's. Yeah. So what you look at pe- people's feet, and you probably like that then, huh? Well, that's how it all started. You know, it's uh, oh. you know, when the wife took off one day, you know, I was, I was really down. I was at the lowest I've ever been. And then this, this person came into Dick's, and we're, they were looking for this, this running shoe. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to you know, measure her out, you know, get that foot measured nice, and uh, get her fitted into this nice shoe. And she took that sock off, and it was... Something just sparked? Something just sparked right inside my soul. Just, I saw that foot and I was just fixated. Did you get a little, little tingle in your ding I, I couldn't stand up, man. <laughs> I could not stand up. Oh my God. No. Nope. Did you know that, that when that happened, you're like, why am I sexually attracted to a foot? I thought about it and then I, I, you know, I just studied every curve and crevice of that and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Still haven't seen one that yeah. beautiful. It was a 20 out of 10, man. Jeez. 20 out of 10. <laughs> Dude, props for you. You found yeah. your uh, you found your he has trend- nice feet. Wow. Um, and so, do, does does your coworkers know that you that you have this thing, or is this an inside secret? Or they, for the most part, they just think I'm weird. Uh, they, so they do know. They don't know though. They just think I'm just kind of weird, obsessed um, about feet, or just no, weird in just general? just weird in general. I, you know, I'm gonna keep them that way. I don't want to like give away all my secrets about sure. it. Like. I, I like my job, and I don't want like my coworkers to feel uncomfortable around me. My manager is really the only one. Like he gave me some restrictions. I'm only interesting. Yeah, I'm only allowed to like. This isn't like written on any in any rule book, but I'm only allowed to spend so much time measuring somebody's foot. Do, you, do okay. So they there's obviously been things that's happened before that they. have yeah, was there a customer complaint or <clears throat> no? He called me. He called me in the office. Or what do you mean? I was a little excited about. Oh, I won't even. That day. Hey, say no more. It yeah. happens to the best of us. Tuck it in the waistband. That's what I used to do. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> well, dude. Hey, tell us a little bit I was more. Just on the table. 
<laughs> I, just, I don't know what to do. Is is that or the refrigerator Ooh. door just opening and closing on it? You know. Just, oh. Hold on, real quick. Can we get two more shots of uh, Tennessee honey? Thank you. Um, okay, so Tommy Franks Jr. Um, can you explain what a, uh, a well? I mean, I guess don't want to do this. Tell me, have you been on any dates since you've had the uh, they had the, had the divorce or whatever with your wife? Oh, plenty, plenty, plenty. You would be surprised how many girls love foot rubs right off the bat. That's my yeah. opener. And do you want a foot rub? Yeah, the best one. Not just a foot rub. It's the best. What do you, so you find someone, what do you, what do you use to, to find these women? Uh, you know, there, there's there's platforms you've heard of. There's platforms that you've never heard of. Like what? Uh, footmingle.com. That's one that you never that's heard of. That's a thing? Of. Yep. Uh, there is uh, Feats R Us. Uh, there's some Reddit groups. Nice. You know. Wow. Foot fan, you know, footandfetish.com. What's your uh, success rate on there? Um... Depends on the size. There's, you if know, you message ten women, how many? And you said, "Hey, baby, I'd like to rub your feet." Easy seven. Seven out of ten. Yeah, average. Yeah, seven out of ten. No. Yeah. So I bet some dudes are doing it wrong. They are. One hundred percent. I got I got buddies who I even can't even get dates on Tinder no matter how hard they try. They even use fake photos because they it's all about they they make the perception that it's all about their needs, not theirs, not the woman's. I mean, I've had, like, I'm not in the feet at all, but I've had a good foot rub. She's rubbing your foot is the problem. Well, I mean, it's a That's pedicure. That's the problem. Do you get pedicures or do you like your feet rubbed? How about that? Um, no. Nah. You don't so, like your? No, it's not about me. What about your foot? What would you rate your foot out of 10? My foot? You know, I got to lead by example. You know ooh, what I mean? I'll rate mine a nine. Right. Nine. Do you for sure? Here's another one. This might be sound weird. I'm sorry for coming off so forward with no, this. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> do you ever uh, use your feet in action, um, or do you just normally use your hands and toes, or hands and fingers and mouth? And no, I don't use my feet. Sometimes it goes with them using theirs. I don't get what you're laying on. It's. Oh, I know what yeah, you mean yeah. now. You t tickle the sphincter with the. Oh. Yeah, or that, or two feet together, you know. Oh. Yeah. Is that how that the gratification comes? Is two feet together then, or what? Um. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. So when. Wow. Never this, go ankle deep. <laughs> <laughs> Never go ankle deep. Dude, this is fascinating. I'm. I'm sorry uh, for asking all these questions because this is. Some no, stuff that I've never learn, man. This is how you get woke. Is that what kids say these days? Woke? Isn't that the new lingo? So do these women do these women are have they done this before? Or have they is this new to them? Do you coach them? How's that? A lot work? of the times it's new to them. They're, they like that new experience. Sure. Uh it's just something it's just something new. Like it's like, what? Hold on. This dude's gonna offer me a foot rub right off the bat. Sure. You know, like that first thing they're thinking, they don't think about, you know, what happens after that. Yeah. But yeah, that's just when it gets there. The foot rubs are that amazing. You know, it, it all leads from there. What do you do to them? You know how many sensories are in a foot? No. Yeah. Can you explain more, please? Yeah, there's like three and a half million sensors. In, in your feet? Yeah. What's, what's the know? most, I guess, especially let's... those hard working ones, you know, that they got that, like a mild case of plantar fasciitis or, you know, the, the corns or the bunions on the bottom of their feet that, you know, that nobody wants to touch them. Nobody wants to give them foot rubs or they don't get the foot rubs because they're too busy. Okay. Yeah. And then finally they get a night out and they get a foot rub right off the bat. They know going Boom. in with a date with Tommy Franks Jr. They're getting a foot rub right off the bat. Hey girl, you like your getting your foot rub? Yep. Yeah. First nice, thing. dude. Yep. At least you're straight up with it. That's great. That's awesome. And then the, how's it turning? What's the next step? Like once you, you get their foot rub... I mean, I feel like the foot is a long way from the rest of the genitals of the body. Like, how do you go in for a kiss? Like, where is that? You know how it goes. The toes lead to the foot. The foot leads to the ankle. The ankle leads to the calf. The calf leads to the thigh. The thigh leads it right up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's probably a song I've yeah. heard in my life, right? All yeah. right. Damn. But I'm sure once you 
alleviate that foot pain, they've already... They're in straight up heaven. So... They're on cloud nine, man. Cloud so I nine. should... Damn, I should start giving my wife some foot rubs then, huh? You should. You should. So, um... All right, dude. Wow, that was... Uh, this is all great. And thank you again. Uh, I'm going to cover the whole tab tonight. Um, could you um, could you describe the perfect toe or not toe perfect foot? I just have to go back to that day. Which one? The, that dicks? day the dicks, a dicks. Yeah, dicks. So you would you pull that sock off like a Cinderella, like a reverse Cinderella, and just yep. God damn, look at that soft, soft Ooh. as a baby's bottom. What kind of what kind perfect of lotion curve. do you what kind of lotion do you do you want on, on a foot? Jergens for sure. Jergens. Jergens. <laughs> All right, dude. Um, anyway, um, uh, we're here with Tommy Franks. Junior. D- sorry, God. Every- Tommy Franks Jr. Yeah. <laughs> dude, trust yeah. me. I, I know. Uh, we got some... Um, I'll anyway, teach you about that, too. I, I will. Is, uh, well, well, tell me more about Tommy Franks. Is it your dad, or...? Yeah. Yeah, I never met him, though. You know, okay. No, Do you think he has a foot fetish? Uh, you know, I don't know. It's like, if when something sparks like that, it comes from somewhere. Right, it's kind of built down in the genetics. Well, hey, we got some uh, questions from some fans, um, some of my subscribers on the YouTube right. and on my Facebook. Right. Uh, and again, we all really appreciate you. I know this is probably hard to talk about, isn't it? No, I, no. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah. Um, what per, what what foot do you prefer and why? I'm a lefty, for sure. Why Easy. left? Easy. Why? It's just. I'm left footed. <laughs> Here you go. Was that the foot that when you when you were at Dick's and you pulled it? And that was the one. Left foot. Okay. Now I'm um, left footed, man. So it just just, just makes sense. Um, what was the reaction to your ex wife when she found out that you had a foot fetish? Uh, we almost got back together. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What would you rate her feet out of ten? Oh, that bitch gets a six. Yeah, she, yeah. really? But fuck her. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah. Yeah, she, they're rough. You know, it felt like, you know, 50 grit sandpaper. It was like, bitch, come get a pedicure. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? So, uh, how about this one? What toe is your favorite and why? This comes from uh, Tommy Van Houten. Uh, I would go with the pinky toe. The pinky toe, the short boy. Yeah, that's cute. What? Well, it's cute. It's just so cute and cushiony. <laughs> you know, you, you rarely get like this skinny, bony pinky toe. Rarely. I'd say like nine and a half times out of ten, you get you get yourself a nice cushiony little toe. A little chunky little boy, huh? Toe, yeah. a, little, a little thick boy. Yeah. Next one would be the big toe, though. Oh, oh yeah. That yeah. one probably does some damage, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you... um? What do you think about? Do you eat toe jam? This comes no, from Derek Z. Hey, man, I. It's like you guys have you haven't even listened. I just explain, you know, the, you know, having those nice, clean, smooth feet. Yeah. There ain't no toe jam. In those nice, clean, smooth feet. You know, you got to wear those thin socks. You know, it comes from the. You know, when you when you see somebody pull their foot out of a shoe and it's anything but one of those thin socks. You know, almost. Almost as thin as those ones at Dick Sporting Goods, you know, that you used to try on the shoes. You know, those thin ones, you could tell. And if you're pulling it off and it makes that scraping sound, pfft, you just know it's going to be not the right foot for you. So, so clearly, you're, you're, about, you're more about, you're about, I'm about, you're about clean toes, yeah. well kept, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And, and so. I had a hippie phase once. You know, it's kind of like you, you see this toe and you know that, you know, the armpits were hairy, you know, the legs were hairy, and it's just like... Yeah, I feel you on that one. She's and, coming with that... Uh, yeah, there that we go. Honey, there we go. Here comes that. All right, so we're going to take this last shot, and we're going to probably clean her up, bud, and we're going to finish the night off. Um, this one's on me. Thank you again for meeting with us. Oh, of course. A couple more questions left here. Um, Dylan Powers asks... Where does the well, that's foot? That's a name. <laughs> that's a definitely that's a, a name. Power name. He's right one of my buddy too. Yeah. yeah, he's a close friend of mine. Dylan Bob, he's got some nice feet. <laughs> he probably does. He probably does. He probably, he probably does. takes care of him. What kind of name? Well, a person like that name, you know, you got him. Cheers. Cheers. All right. He asks, "Where does the foot fetish end? Is it the end, the heel, the ankle, calf, ankle, 
You know, the ankle? Yeah, yeah right at the ankle. Before or above the bone? You never really, never really measured it. No, you don't care about that. No, Are you more of a toe ankle. guy than ankle or, general. or middle of the, the foot? I'm the curvature. Curvature. Up from the side, like a side view curvature. Believe that. In feeling, yeah. Um, let's go on on here. Uh, does size matter? Of which toe? Of your the whole foot. The whole foot? No, no, I wouldn't say so. Uh, just as long as it's proportionate. If you had like a small foot with big ass fucking toes, you know, it's <laughs> it's a little weird. You know, doesn't mean I'm not about it, but <laughs> it just means it's not it's not as enjoyable. It uh, wow, dude, this is all, this is all great. This is not what I expected in my first interview with anyone um, on this podcast. And thank you. Obviously, there I don't have a ton of subscribers or any of that stuff. So thanks for coming on. Um, is what do you do on your spare time? I mean, we got a couple more things we want to ask you before time runs out. What do you, what do you do? I, you said yeah, you had a uh, a side business. What do you, what, what is that about? Yeah, I sell uh, I sell used socks. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Yeah. What, what where what, how's that? What's that consist of? Uh, I just go on Facebook Marketplace and, you know, I scroll through and, you know, whoever's selling these socks, I, you know, I pick them up and buy it. And, uh, you know, I got a little name for it. Yeah. What's that called? Sockstart. Sockstart.com? Yeah. Sockstart.com. All right. Cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what, what it's is even it? even funnier when there's like a little Harley logo on the sock. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn. So, um, so, and then you said also that you, um... You're into pedicures, or where you go to this pedicure place or something? You said earlier. Yeah, there's this place down the road from my house that I like to go. Yeah. Sorry, that shot made me burp a little bit. Yeah. Um, I have to pay fifty bucks every time I go in. Do you get your foot worked on? Nope. nope, I don't. I just watch. What do you mean you watch? You just I sit- just give them fifty bucks and then let me watch. And you just sit there. And <laughs> look at yeah. these people. Yep. Watch them wash them. Watch them scrub them. Watch them paint them. And I just have to pay them fifty. Do you bucks got a nail polish color that you prefer? Uh, I like burgundy. All right. I just think it just, it's just not, I wouldn't say not, it's not natural. It's just as a good, it complements the tone for most feet. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, is there, so before we leave, we've got about one more question. Um, do you, what do you, what do you got to say to people out there that are, that have a fetish that they're afraid to be publicly about? Because it seems that you're about this and you want the world to know about it. So what would you say to other people that might have like a, a different fetish? Uh, I would say that stop living in a nest of lies. You know, like if, if you're worried about, you know, like living to the fullest, just let it go, man. Just like open it up. Let, you know, let your fetish fly, if you will, if, if you want to call it a fetish or if it's just something that you like. Uh, other than that, you're just going to keep it built up and it's going to be this dark secret that you just keep that's just going to eat away at you you know just don't like let it go like don't let it eat your life away be free live life to the fullest man believe that all right tommy franks jr tommy franks i'm sorry tommy franks thanks for coming on the show we're at this that we're at the curly toe up here in north portland um having a couple shots here uh thanks for joining the podcast whoever listens Hope you guys enjoyed this time. If you have any follow-up questions, uh, would you be around to answer anything if anyone reached out and asked us some Yeah, more? 100%. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks, Tommy Franks uh, Jr. Jr. Yeah, Tommy Franks go. Jr., I got you. Yeah, there. We'll catch you next time, it buddy. I hope you have shots. a good one. Yeah, yeah thank you. Too. Brain cells depleting so fast when I exhale I'm still mad but you can't tell Oh man, she forgot the fucking chopsticks Cockpit, swerving after Shapley with a lockpick Sam Fisher style, all black Once again, at events you can't attend And guess what, your girl tried to hold my hand again I'm thinking it was planned But then again, I think you saw it firsthand No misunderstand I came through just to hear the band Stuffing contraband in some camo pants And there's probably a chance I'm on that flight to France And that black car was planned in advance Just expanding finance with some freelance Witty, where's the pre-mad? Did I dream that I stopped the whole zip?
Left in that preen bag, it gave a fuck about a price tag. Only thing exotic is this weed stash. I just been listening to JID, and when the cops ask me, it's no ID. You know I see my phone blowing up like free agency. They can't be taming me. She putting hearts around my name, and you know I didn't even have her number saved. You can't call me well behaved, and I bet I'll never shave. I'm busy blazing hydro, and I can't save. I doubt you can relate. Are you ready for a heartbreak on the first date? How am I doing now, Gray? I swear I'll never change. Stream of consciousness about some dumb shit. I'm getting dumb lit. Always on some bullshit. You can put that on my obit. I'll admit to TV pay with counterfeit. Making dollars and I don't make sense. Past tense, present tense, future tense. When did this commence? Are you this dense? Secret vaults where the money is dispensed. Yeah, I spark a lot in vacant parking lots. Whether it's dark or not, disembark the drop. You see me? Yeah, I shop a lot. Quest van stepping off the yacht. Don't dance a lot, but she grabbing on my pants a lot. I saw the girl you wanna be me so bad. Even heard you tried to get with two girls that I already had flattering. How the Uber see me staggering? How embarrassing your little seraphim charade is so disparaging. Girl, I'm not answering. Calls at 3 a.m. like, come dance with me. And she said, but I have some weed. So you're thinking that changes things? Call me back with a serious request. Really not interested when all you seem to talk about is sex. Now she vexed and a bit stressed, but I couldn't care less. Damn, how my nails not dry yet? I'm still mad, but you can't tell. What's that gas smell? Brain cells depleting so fast when I exhale. I'm still mad, but you can't tell. Inhale, exhale, it's these letters.